We are out here on the Fox 11 ice desk, which has seen some better days. I don't know how long this Wisconsin is going to be sticking around with us, but it was a different situation in some other places today. The high winds were causing some power outages in the eastern part of the state and in the northwestern part of the state. Fox 11's Gabrielle Mays has more. When strong winds start to blow, it can cause power outages. Can you get the outage map up for me? This is the Wisconsin Public Service Dispatch Center. It monitors power outages throughout the state 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So that middle one is our map. So that's showing right now where the outages are. Mm -hmm. And then below, you can see that um, how many people are out. WPS says today's power outages are minimal and scattered in the northern, central, and eastern area. Around 10 this morning, 400 customers didn't have power. When we do have high, weather, high winds, we are looking at the wind speed. Where are they the highest so that if we do have an issue, we can send crews out um, to those issues areas right away. When it comes to getting the power on, Prudy says it depends on the situation. At times, we have to um, walk or drive the lines to find out where the issue is, and sometimes that can take hours. Now out here on Lake Winnebago, the wind is moving so fast, I'm actually having a hard time standing up. But as you can see, I've got my anemometer here, and the wind gusts are between 30 and 40 miles an hour. But the high winds aren't stopping ice fishermen from competing in the Battle on Bago tournament. This wind is incredible. I, I've never seen it like this before, but uh, the fishing's really slow. It's cold. That wind will go right through you. Andy Rosensky is also hoping to catch a fish, but he chose to sit in his car rather than his shanty on the lake. I think it's more comfortable in here, less noisy. Back on land, the wind showed no mercy to the Battle on Bago event tent. Oh, we had some poles break loose and a couple of holes in the tent this morning, and everything was kind of whatever the wind put it. Fortunately, the group had hundreds of volunteers on hand to help them put everything back together. In Oshkosh, Gabrielle Mays, Fox 11 News.